Hello everyone, good afternoon. I am, mm, mm, it's one of those days. I way overslept, I did not mean to. And then that happened, so uh, yeah, uh, but that's okay. I'm here now, I was planning on doing this foundation review and darn it, I'm gonna get it done. When I have something written down in my planner to actually get done, I'm doing it. And it's on this foundation. It's one of the new cushion foundations at the drugstore. This is the one from Physicians Formula. It is their mineral wear talc-free all-in-one cushion foundation slash all-in-one ABC airbrushing, blurring, correcting with SPF 50 foundation. I got mine in the shade Light. Much to my chagrin, these are so expensive. <laughs> I found this at Target, it was $16.95, and most people, it comes with like a $9 off rebate on here. Mine only came with a $3 off coupon. So I took it, so mine ended up being $13.95 plus tax. <sighs> so this better be freaking fantastic, or else does Target accept returned makeup? <sighs> Probably should have checked that before. But... Anyways, let's go ahead and go on to Physicians Formula's website to read about this to make sure I'm applying it correctly because I have never applied one of these cushion foundations before. Not any of the new American ones and not any of the original ones that have been out in like Korea and Japan and uh, lots of different places for many years now. So like I said, this is the new mineral wear talc free all in one ABC cushion foundation with SPF of 50. It's got great reviews so far and it is $16.95. Similar to a lot of Physicians Formula foundations, I feel like, this only comes in three shades. There's a light, a light medium, and then a medium. And this is 0.46 fluid ounces of product, so about half of what you would normally get in a normal bottle of foundation. And basically what this is, it's a weightless mineral formula providing a multitasking beneficial alphabet cream blah 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 <laughs> my goodness it's supposed to be revolutionary and instantly correct visible imperfections blur fine lines and pores with a perfected airbrush finish and the sponge delivery system dispenses the perfect dose with each tap delivering customizable light to medium coverage please tell me it says how to use directions yay Apply pressure onto cushion with puff applicator to release the perfect dose of foundation for customizable light to medium coverage. Gently pat puff onto skin, flip cushion for extended foundation usage. All right, you guys, so tis the time. Let's do this. I can already tell you, I love the packaging. It's got like that softer than NARS finish to it on the cushion, which just, mm, I wanna touch it, touch it, touch it all day. Anyways. Ugh. All right, so this is very hard to get out of the package, but I will persevere. Oh, well, I doubt I can return it now. <sighs> you know, they probably do that on purpose. <laughs> they make it ultra impossible to get out of the box so that you rip the box so that you definitely can't return this. <sighs> I feel like I'm birthing something. All right, ooh, it's really pretty. The blue on here, it's like a iridescent purple to blue to indigo type. I do think the compact is really cute, you know. It's like a little quilted cushion. As far as I know, we just pop, pop. There we go. So it's got the, um, <laughs> the puff was stuck to the mirror. No worries, I figured that out. It's one of those like, <laughs> like squeaky kind of a sponge. If you know what I mean, it's not one of the more fabric feeling. It's a more spongy feeling. Anyways, so it's got the little flap thing to yep, keep this nice and moisturized. Peeling this off. Ooh. Now, these have always intrigued me. I'm just really scared. I don't know because it's new and I don't know how to use it and, you know, change is hard. But it's also exciting. So, let's see. Let's push on this together. Push. Ooh. Okay, let's see how this looks swatched. Oh boy, this looks a little orange slash yellow. I hope this blends out nicely. It looks a little yellow for me. <laughs> it's definitely fragrance free, but that means it smells like plastic and 
Blah, blah, blah. It's not chemically smelling, but it, it doesn't smell good, I'll tell you that much. Puff time! When have I ever used a puff like this? Or an applicator? Never. I mean, except for I did bring out tools in case this puff, I'm just incapable of doing it correctly, so we'll see. And of course, I'm forgetting everything. Let's put on a primer first. Oh. But first, <laughs> it's been a long time since I reviewed a foundation, I feel like. Let's zoom in on my face. Ooh, so I don't have too much going on right now. I've got that thing <laughs> and then just, you know, typical scarring and dark spots that I want to cover and obvious unevenness in my skin. Also, as always, I like to test out foundations when I'm wearing my glasses for the fellow glasses wearers of the world so we can see how it performs underneath the eye pads. Getting a bit of primer here. I always have products listed down below if you want to figure out exactly all of the things that I have on my face and my body, so check there if you're curious. Primer is on, nice and tacky and ready for some cushion. For some pushing of the cushion. Ah yeah. Okay, so we just push, push, up, up. <laughs> okay, time to put this on my face. Oh, I'm scared. Go. Okay, so it's definitely very light coverage as of right now, but it's also very light weight. I can hardly tell that I'm putting anything on my skin right now. And I'm not gonna lie, the finish looks really soft and smooth. <laughs> Okay, so this, I need like fatter fingers. Here, I'll do the three finger method. So the puff is already disgusting looking. I assume it's always gonna be disgusting looking and I have no idea how often you need to clean this thing. Like that sort of information would be good. But I suppose since you're applying it on a clean face, So there it is on this half of my face and this half has nothing on it. What do we think? Like I said, this is very, very sheer coverage as of right now, but thankfully my skin is clear enough where that's okay for me. Yeah, I do think it did a good job of evening things out. So to further even things out, let's finish on my face here. So there you go, there it is on all of my face here. I think overall it looks pretty good. Just for YouTube purposes, I guess, I'm gonna see if building this up is a thing. So we're gonna go ahead and I haven't decided where I'm putting the second layer, but let's see, where do I need more coverage, usually? Um, here, we'll do a little bit on my forehead here and then on my chin. So there you go, you can see it just kind of took down some of the redness from my scars there by adding a second coat. I would say it's a light to light medium coverage. I don't know that it's quite medium coverage. Maybe, I don't know, I'm just kind of in shock. This looks really pretty good. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna close this tightly Nice click so you know it's closed. I'm gonna put the sponge back in here, which that just worries me a lot. But, click, yay! Here it is closer up. I mean, you can definitely see stuff still peeks through, but it looks really natural, like really satin skin-like which kind of worries me because I am an oily skinned person. I don't want it slipping and sliding throughout the day, but it might, we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put on the rest of my makeup. I'm really not doing anything today, so it'll be very light, probably just contour blush powder type of a thing. And brows, I can't go anywhere without my brows. But I will be back in just a second here on YouTube land so that we can see how it all looks when it all comes together. So I'll see you in just a second here. Ready?
Ding! All right, here we go. I told you I wasn't lying. Today is one of those days where I'm really not doing anything, which I feel like seems like all of my days, according to these videos, doesn't it? I run errands, I go to the post office, I go to my mom's to have dinner, I do cross stitch, and then I go to bed. <laughs> This is like once a week, you guys. Yeah, but anyways, let's look at the foundation. Now, I did go ahead and powder this half of my face just so we can see, does it need a powder? Does it really make a difference? Um, but yeah, there it is so far. Like I said, I just did my brows and put on a contour and blush, but I think it looks good so far, really natural. It does definitely have a bit more of a sheen on this side purely because I used a mattifying powder on this half, but... Yeah, I guess we'll see. It does make me nervous that it's this sheeny so early on because I feel like that means it's gonna get really oily. But you know, we we don't know yet. So yeah, there we go, you guys. I already told you what I'm doing today, so blah blah blah. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I'm gonna go make myself a smoothie. I haven't eaten anything yet today and I'm hungry. So yeah, that's that's about it. I will just check in with you guys whenever I'm gonna need to blot throughout the day. I'm sure I will need to blot at some point or another with the way that this feels. But it does feel really lightweight and really good so far. Like I really, I don't feel like I have much of anything on my face right now. So, so far so good. Let's see how it is in a few hours from now when I need to blot. And yeah, I will keep reporting back to you all throughout the day. So I will see you all very soon. Bye. What to do? What da do da da do da da do? What da do? What da do da da do da da do? What da do? What da do da da do da da do? everyone good evening it is the end of the night here i look fantastic it is currently 2 25 in the morning i was not planning on staying up this late but uh sometimes you start editing a video and then you just time flies by when you're having fun and working it's all in one for me let's look at the foundation here so I don't know what happened here. <laughs> Can you see how it like got all crusty? Ooh. And it's looking very oily on my forehead and my nose. If you are a glasses wearer, this foundation did not do well under the nose pad. <laughs> it just kind of slid around everywhere and was just not cute. So overall, eh. I just don't think this is made for someone with oily skin. It, ugh, I don't know, I'm conflicted. This might be a good one for like 
if I need to wear foundation for like a couple hours maybe. It's strange because it's very very lightweight. It really is. I'm gonna give it that much credit. I mean it really feels like I don't have anything on my face right now and it feels very smooth. The thing is, it feels really greasy in the greasy areas, but when I touch it, it feels like powder. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that's all about. I think I want to like it more than I do. Ooh. I think I will have to fiddle with it some more, see how it does. Maybe it'll be a good foundation for me for just on days when I need to film a video and like I said, I'll only have it on for maybe an hour or two. But this is quite an expensive foundation to have just for those type of days, you know? I think if you have dry or like normal skin, this will be beautiful for like every day. I just think if you're oily like me, it's gonna look greasy. So I guess that'll be up to you. As always, I just hope you were able to infer from this video. Hopefully you were able to see whether or not this foundation might be something you want to check out and try for yourself, or maybe you want to stay away from it. That's what these reviews are here for, and I hope that is what you got from it. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up. Really, really appreciate it. And yeah, as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well, and until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!